What's up everybody, Super Small Chiba Wolf here, and today I'm going to be doing Top 10 Slice of Life Anime Series. Now, when making this list, I judge it by the characters, comedy, music, and the impact of the anime, like how I felt about it overall, and which I would most likely watch more times with, within the summer, winter, etc. Now, starting off with number 10, also let me just say is that, just because some animes are higher than the others, and just because one is honorable mentions, I still love those animes, and if I didn't, and if I did not like these animes, they wouldn't even be on this list. So, with that being that, let's continue on with the video. Number ten is a place farther than the universe. I loved the, a place farther than the universe. It was interesting. The characters were great. I loved the reasons for wanting to go. You know, and seeing these girls on their adventure was a really great anime for the time for me, uh, because it was like something new. You know, something. I really didn't see a lot of, so besides, uh, what was it, anime movies, but seeing it as a series and seeing these characters and, you know, kind of getting to know them and them grown as, you know, grown as one, you know, it, it was really fun and I, I did enjoy it. So, yeah, number nine is Watamori. Besides, so, <laughs> oh man, where to start? The references are funny, you know, the references to other animes, I, I like that, I, I like that Tomoko herself is interesting, you know, Watamori is an interesting anime, because it follows Tomoko, a girl that suffers uh, from social anxiety, and, you know, it's just seeing her in this world was, it was pretty interesting, and I love it, every time I come back to Watamori, and I watched it a couple of times within the years, and let me just say this, it's one of those animes I keep on having the similar opinions on every time I watch it. And I end up liking it every single time. If anything, I keep on... My my love for it keeps on growing every time I watch it. You know, because if it has a season two, right? Uh, I see a lot of potential. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything. Let's just say uh, later on we are introduced to another character which can... Um, and which I did talk about in the review in the spoiler section of that, is that it really it has potential, Season 2 of Watermori. Tomoko, as a character, can grow and develop, and I, I have a big imagination now. If they do it right, then it would turn out perfectly, Season 2. Now, number 9, I mean, number 8 is Clan Ed. Now, I love Clan Ed. Clan Ed is really great. You know, it was funny, you know, one of my favorite scenes of Clan Ed is we see Nagisa and Fuko debate on which is better, uh, Starfish or the Dango family. And, you know, Nag Nagisa kind of, you know, she's over there defending the Dango family. Uh, we see Fuko defending Starfish and it, it was just great. It, was, it had like passion to it and they were, you know, kind of giving information why they love their... Um, what was it, Starfish or Dango Family? And yeah, it was it's great, man. One one of my favorite scenes in that anime. One of my favorite moments in Clanet. So yeah, I love Clanet. The music, the characters, the, it just everything was really great. Now number seven is Torador. I love Torador. Okay, the characters, the music, and the. Um, there's in character designs and all out. I'd say Torador was an interesting anime. It was one of those animes that I would say it's worth a watch. You know, it was great because, you know, we get to see Tiger, you know, kind of... I don't want to spoil anything of any anime, so let me just say this. So, you know, we see Tiger and Ryuji kind of develop within the series. And it is really cool and fun to see that. And, yeah, man, all that I say, Torador is, has great music, especially one one song that was really amazing. <laughs> and, you know, another thing I enjoy is that, uh, what was it, Torador, you know, I think when it comes down to anime, like Slice of Life animes and uh, stuff like that, Torador is one of those animes that I don't hear a lot about, talk about, but it is really cool and great. Number six, man, I love number six. And to be honest, in a way, I was kind of debating number six and five a little bit, but I think I could live with this. 
Number six is Made Sama. I love Made Sama because it is just it's just all out great. Look, let me say this. Um Made Sama was interesting. We see um what was it? Uh oh try not to spoil anything, but let me say the interactions with characters and the plots they I mean the things that come their way that they have to overcome and uh go through are funny, great and all out I loved it. You know, seeing these characters uh, you know, interact with each other and having fun and seeing these characters what they have to deal with within their lives, you know, it really was great. You know, I love my summer. It gave us great music, really, really great uh, what was it? Outro song, you know. It, it was, dude. Let me just say, let me say this. Let me say this. What I said in the review, it was hyped up for no reason, and I loved it. The one of the outros. I think it was the second outro. It was just, it's it's something that we did not know we needed, and Made Sama gave it to us, and that's what I love about Made Sama as well, dude. Made Sama is amazing, and I love Made Sama, you know. So, it's a strong number six, and it was close, to be honest, with number five. Um, number five is Your Lion April. Subaki. Okay, long story short, Subaki. So, number four is... No, no, <laughs> but for real. Um, number five is Your Lion April. I love, I love Your Lion April. It was interesting seeing how, you know, it was music anime. Mixed with a romance comedy, mixed with a little bit of horror elements, as in kind of getting to know the dark history with it, with the characters. Now I don't want to, you know, spoil anything, but let me just say how it handles certain situations, the dark sides, uh, the dark stuff. It was really, you know, I wouldn't say good as in like. Yeah, that's good it happened to them, but good in the way of, wow, it was interesting, gave me, you know, kind of made me care about it more, and kept me watching and seeing what would happen next. So that's the thing I enjoy about Your Lion April, also the interactions with the characters are cool, and Subaki is cute, so, and best girl. So, let's debate down below, um, with that being that, I love Your Lion April, it's definitely my number five definitely one of my favorite animes of all time as well number four dude number four is squid girl come on <laughs> like like we all have, we all we all saw this coming okay now let me just say this also now there's a difference between top 10 slice of life anime series and top 10 slice of life characters okay just wanted to put that out there right now um you know i see it differently i don't see it the same because I'm not going to spoil that list either, but let me just say, uh, there are stuff from that list that did not make it on this, and etc. Other stuff, other reasons as well. So, number four is Squid Girl. Now, it, it was kind of close. I was kind of thinking about it, you know, because comparing it to other animes such as Maid Sama, for example, and You Lie in April, and a little bit Torador. Dude, it was kind of close here and there. And then, you know what I thought? I was like, season two. Season two was really cool. If it was only a season one, and this is an example. I mean, this is something I'm going to bring up for the next one as well. Um, but let me just say this. It's season two was really cool, really impressive, and an example of an anime season two done correct for Slice of Life anime. And I, you know, one thing I enjoyed about season two of I mean, one and two of Squid Girl is that, you know, it, it kind of improved in a lot of things, kind of introduced a lot of things as well. And that's the thing, I, that's the reason I love uh, Squid Girl season one and two is that Squid Girl, you know, it kind of had, it showed that, look, it cared about its anime. You know, it didn't just have a season two, just have a season two, you know, or whatever like that. No, Squid Girl series, the creators actually cared and they actually gave us something great and improved in a lot of things and that's why I love Squid Girl. Now number three and this is a reason I'm going to use the same reason because not to just copy and paste but I truly feel the same way. Karagai Jazen Takagi-san season two man just like Squid Girl a huge improvement I'm so happy 
you know, that they did that as well. You know, just, let me just say this, man. Kawa Kai Jaws in the Takagi Sun Season 2. By the way, I review the Season 2s. Uh, I have Season 1 and Season 2 uh, reviews of both of these animes. I recommend checking them out. But, let me just say, Season 2 of Kawa Kai Jaws in the Takagi Sun. Man, that was just amazing. I loved it. It was fun. The characters, the character interactions. You know, just, um... What was it? The worlds, how they expand, and the other characters as well. The, um, you know, we get to know more about them. You know, and same for Squiggle, and it's just wow. You know, we see improvement for Nishikata and Takagi as well as for as the friends, and you know, it's just it's definitely, definitely great. And I I love Squiggle season two. And I love Kyoto Kajas and the Takagi Tan season two, but to be completely honest, if you see, by the way, if season three comes out for either of them, I would love it a lot. Uh, but let me just say this is that Kyoto Kajas and the Takagi Sun is my number three, I, my third favorite slice of life anime of all time because Kyoto Kajas and the Takagi Sun is, in a way, a little bit more relatable than Squid Girl, personally. <clears throat> You know, but another thing I would say is that I just, I just love it, man. It really was something interesting. It it gave us um, more improvements and kind of, yeah, it kind of it did a lot of things. Both animes, so, uh, hmm, I don't hear it talked about a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I think, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I think, uh, well, if I would recommend animes right now. I would recommend after watching this, Kerekai Jazz and Takagi Sun Season 1 and 2 and Squid Girl Season 1 and 2. So with that being that, let's continue on with the video. Number 2, Lucky Star. I love Lucky Star. I believe this is my first review or one of the three you know, first reviews I've ever done on this channel. Now, what I really love about Lucky Star is that, for example, the characters. Let's talk about... Um, uh, Konata, uh, Konata, yeah, Konata, you know, she's a anime lover, uh, video game lover, and kind of like uh, a lot of, and she is also relatable in many ways, you know, her friends as well, I, I love uh, Konata and her friends and this anime, you know, uh, these episodes are really great, and I think, you know, Lucky Star should really get another season as well, um, oh, the uh, crossovers, which I love as well, you know, uh, talking about other anime, and uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I, I have a feeling out of all these animes, Lucky Star is one that is watched a lot, and number one, you know. But yeah, man, Lucky Star is great. Uh, I'd say the music is great. The characters are great uh, and cool and lovable and. Dude, or out, I say Lucky Star really deserves the number two because it, it just all out is great. Honorable mentions Kill Me Baby. Look, I love Kill Me Baby. Kill Me Baby is a really great anime, but compared to these animes, these other animes, I'd say I'd put it in number, uh, I mean, I'd put it in honorable mentions because Kill Me Baby is not a bad anime, but it. Comparing it to other animes, like these on the list, it doesn't have as much to it than these animes, which kind of is disappointing and kind of how I felt, you know, when I really got into, you know, seeing which is, you know, my favorite slice of life animes and making this list. So let me just say this, Kill Me Baby is worth the watch, because if I did not care about it, I wouldn't even mention it. Now, number one. Now, let's be honest. You, if you if you watched any of my other, um, you know lists, anime top lists, you know who is number one. Number one is Haruhi Suzumiya. So Haruhi Suzumiya, she's definitely number one. She's whole series is. I'm talking about all of the series, okay? I'm talking about like for example the disappearance, you know, of Yuki Nagato, the disappearance of. Uh, how do you use Suzumiya? The Melkony of how you use Suzumiya? You know, how do you use Suzumiya? Everything. You know, how do you use Suzumiya? Jacket. How do you use Suzumiya? Socks. How do you use Suzumiya? Gaming. Um, controls. You know what I mean? 
Nah, we all know. So, <clears throat> how Isu's Mia wins? Well, yeah. Like, I love the characters. I love, for example, in one series there was, you know, Espels, gods, and other stuff, time travels. And then in another series we see in a movie where, you know, characters have development. We have, you know, certain scenes which kind of show development on characters that kind of uh, either were stubborn or kind of self-absorbed in ways. And then in another series we kind of see a more different type of view of these characters and how they interact with each other and uh, you know their new interests and it's just I love how he sees Mia. You know, <laughs> you see why I love it. It's just like it's like each series it's its own identity, but they're all part of the How He Sees Mia series. And it, I like it's basically like how I would compare it to is like a you know how like each Final Fantasy game is its own thing and introduces its own thing. That's how he sees Mia series in my opinion. You know, it's just all out amazing, great, and I love it. And plus, well, certain side characters or backup characters from one series is a, like that, they are used in a perfect way in another series and kind of gets more light to it improve themselves and get to know them. And just like the other enemies, just like Kyoko Jazz and takagi san and just like Galaki Star, and just like um, uh, any other anime, to be honest, on this list. Um, like Squid Girl as well, you know, and yeah, that, you see why, and that's why Harry Susan Mia is number one and will always be number one. My favorite slice of life anime series. The winner, well, I love all these animes, so don't get the wrong idea, but my number one is Harry Susan Mia, best waifu, and yeah, uh, anime slice of life anime series. So, with that being that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you. Enjoy this video. Comment below which is your favorite slice of life anime series. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.